hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is austin back again with another simple video so in this video i would like to share with you the different tools you can use on chromebook right now i'm using a chromebook and you know it's a different operating system everything is different you won't be able to execute or install exe programs on this type of computer so i would like to share with you the different tools you can use in programming when you're using a chromebook so what you have to do by default you'll be having this chrome store the web store you're seeing here so what you have to do is click on this web store first i'm going to be showing you the text editor that i will be using in the next or nearby future when we get into tutorials programming so there is a some text editor that i use is called carrot Forgive me for that. Who's texting me? So it's Carrot. Right now, they will bring different options, different apps. So it's here. But in case you are not able to find this easily, what you have to do is come. Sorry, I have clicked somewhere else. Search for Carrot. Press Enter. Then, if you're not able to get it at first, what you have to do is come and filter and choose apps. I guess it will be the first app to be displayed on top. What you have to do, you will see here, add to Chrome. Right now it's already installed and I'm going to be showing it to you. It's here. It's called Carrot. You'll be able to write your code, everything. So this, I think it's the better text editor that this Google Chrome, this Chromebook has so far. And there is something I would like also to tell you here. There are no shortcuts like you'll be in Sublime writing using Emit. Here you have to write everything from scratch. So if you're a lazy programmer, I guess this will give you a hard time typing all the code. Then the next app I would like to show you, it's the local server or the web server. In case you want to be having a simple server running on your PC without displaying this all URL where your files are located, what you have to do is come here and search for web server and press enter or search. So right now, as you can see, it's the first Chrome app that is displayed on top. It's called web server for Chrome. What you have to do, you'll see a button like this, add to Chrome. Make sure you add it to your Chromebook. And this is how it looks like. By default, here it will be empty. So what you have to first do is come and choose the folder where you're going to be storing your files that you want to be accessed on the server. Right now, I chose JSON folder. And as you can see, they are telling you the current directory is JSON folder. And... I guess this toggle button is for putting the server on and off. And the moment you put it on, they will say web server started. And this will be the uniform resource locators. So the links or URLs you'll be seeing here. So this is the default local, like local URL they give to you. When we click it, it will take you to the index current directory where your files or folders are found. So let's let me click this and as you can see we get a simple and precise url just a local server and the file name and this is some simple file that fetches some fake data from json placeholder that's what that's what i wanted to show you in this simple video make sure you subscribe to my channel like the video Share it on different social medias and I'll be seeing you in the next tutorials. Peace.